Schubert, and I will be doing the degradation of chords. I will be doing the economic perspective, and my partner, Isaiah Cassandra, will be doing the, um, I'm doing the environmental perspective, and my partner, Isaiah Cassandra, will be doing the economic and tourism perspective of coral degradation. My perspective will focus more on how coral degradation affects the natural world, and my partners will be focusing more on how coral degradation affects the economy and tourism in Florida. are living marine ecosystems. Um, they're bonded by car um, calcium carbonate exoskeletons. Um, the main builder of coral reefs are stony coral and they produce car calcium carbonate exoskeletons called polyps. Um, they thrive in warm, shallow, clear, choppy waters. Okay, coral degradation. Coral degradation is the destruction of coral reefs or putting the coral and its environment under immense pressure stress. The importance. Um, here in Florida, um, the, the Florida reef is the only coral reef in all of the United States. Um, <coughs> the economic value of coral reefs are 29.8 billion US dollars. And they and coral reefs around the world support 25% of all marine um, animals. Uh, but but in Florida, only 6% of the coral reef, or cor our coral reefs are protected by the government. Um, and in the Keys, there's, there's a yield of 44% decline in coral cover from 1996 to 2005. Um, some cor major coral reefs around the world are in South, Southeast Asia, the Pacific, Australia, and the Atlantic. Coral bleaching is the process in which the coral loses pigmentation. Um, it's caused by increased, increased atmospheric climate, uh, um, ocean, ocean acidification, blast and blast and cyanide fishing, and urban runoff and water pollution, which cause excess algal growth on the coral um, There's a slim chance of recovery if rehabilitated effectively. Um, here's a picture, some pictures of bleached coral. As you can see, the coral is white and very brittle. This is a diagram from the NOAA website showing um, the algae leaving the coral, the coral tissue turning white. And this is a map showing, um, showing the, uh, the amount of thermal stress put on coral reefs in the year 2010. The effects of coral bleaching, um, it, coral bleaching normally shows that the coral is ill or dying and if not treated properly, the, this, could cause, this could cause death in coral. Other causes of degradation are pollution and fish. Some, some causes of degradation are pollution and fishing. Um, the types of pollution are the buildup of carbon dioxide in, um, in the ozone and urban runoff. Um, cyanide and blast fishing also contribute to coral degradation. Blast fishing is a way of um, blast fishing is a way of placing explosives under the water, but this can damage the underlying coral and cause huge waves. Cyanide fishing is the act of fishermen placing cyanide in special areas which can stun the fish, making them easier to catch. This method is normally used when collecting specimens for aquariums. So the cyanide damages the coral. Um, uh, here are some pictures of cyanide and blast fishing. Urban runoff um, is one of the leading causes of coral degradation. Uh, it's, caught, it's polluted rainwater that runs off into the ocean. This, inc um, this, this introduces um, this, this introduces um, sediments from land clearing, um, nutrients from uh, agricultural areas, sewage outputs and sewage outflows, and um, and pollutants such as pesticides and petroleum products. Um, urban runoff aids in the growth of plankton in large numbers, and plankton is the perfect food for a young adult of a young crown of thorns starfishes. And when they grow up, um, adult crown of thorns start crown of thorns starfishes eat coral polyps, which are essential for coral um, reefs to bond together. Climate change. Coral reefs uh, um, absorb ninety three percent of 
climate change heat. Um, the recent fluctuations in atmospheric temperature have been caused by the buildup of CO2 in um, the ozone. Uh, increased temperatures cause the, co the coral to that project zooxanthellae, which is the type of algae that lives within their tissue. Also, intense, intense sunlight causes water to evaporate from the ocean, increasing ocean salinity. Some solutions I propose are to treat the water, um, treat water before transferring into the ocean, therefore decreasing the amount of po um, pollutants introduced into the ocean by urban runoff. Um, also, placing stricter policies on placing stricter policies um, and laws on urban um, on cyanide fishing and using explosives will discourage anyone from participating in this destructive behavior. Um, and also, replanting mangroves and wetlands will help um, help the okay mangroves and wetlands filter out some of the water. Um, some of the pollutants in water left by urban runoff. So replanting these mangroves and wetlands will help um, decrease the amount of foreign substances introduced into the environment. The only way to protect our coral is to stop the waters from getting polluted. Myself. Get my sources. <laughs>